On November 2nd, 2011, G.A. Bunko announced that an anime adaptation of Miyagi Kusuga's light novel series The Ambition of Oda Nobuna, or Oda Nobuna no Yabo, was being produced. At the end of the year, the series' first promotional video was released, and it revealed that the animation would be handled by Studio Gukumi and Madhouse. The next year, on February 24th, a user on Otakumu posted a picture of the April edition of Comp Ace magazine. The image revealed that the anime would premiere that summer, and the series' official Twitter account posted a similar image on February 29th. On June 14th, just before the series' official debut, Crunchyroll announced that they would be adding it to their summer simulcast lineup. The Ambition of Oda Nobuna ran for 12 episodes and aired on various television channels in Japan from July to September. But the first full broadcast was on TV Tokyo and ran from July 8th to September 23rd. Fans in Japan could start picking up the series on Blu-ray or DVD before the series was finished airing, with Volume 1 hitting store shelves on September 5th. New volumes would be released over the next year, with the sixth and final volume being released on March 1st, 2013. Even though the final episode ended with original, anime-only content, the series only adapted material from the first four volumes of the novels. By the time the final set was released, Volume 10 was right around the corner, so there was plenty of material left to adapt. The home video release served as a ray of hope for anyone who wanted to see a second season. This was because they appear to have sold fairly well, especially on Blu-ray. The first five volumes all debuted in the top five of the Oricon Blu-ray sales chart, and while Volume 6 didn't chart as well, it still sold a comparable number of copies. While the light novels were still going strong, despite what fans were hoping for, there was no news about a second season, but fans in the West would hear good news in the summer of 2014. On August 18th, Sentai Filmworks announced that they had licensed the series and that it would be available through select digital outlets with a home video release to follow. Three days later, Sentai announced that the series would be released on Blu-ray and DVD, with an English dub on December 16th. Shortly after it hit store shelves in North America, the ambition of Oda Nobuna started making its way around the world. Hanabi would be releasing the series in Australia and New Zealand, and MVM would handle the release in the UK. But that's pretty much it. Despite the light novel not coming to an end until June of 2019, there were never even rumors about a second season being made. To make matters worse, while an English dub existed, it doesn't look like it was easily accessible through official channels, at least not for a while. While Crunchyroll had been streaming the show since it was simulcasted, it never streamed the dub. The series was also licensed by 2 TV in 2018, but again, it was the original Japanese audio with English subtitles. So for several years, if you wanted to watch the series' dub, you'd have to buy the Blu-ray or DVD. This changed in 2020, when Sentai added it to the streaming service High Dive, but this didn't last for very long. It looks like somewhere between the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022, Sentai's streaming rights for the ambition of Oda Nobuna expired. It looks like the home video rights for the series expired at around the same time. You can no longer purchase the Blu-ray or DVD from Sentai, MVM, or Hanabi. When I reached out to Sentai for clarification, they couldn't provide licensing details, but they did confirm that this series was no longer listed on their store or on High Dive. High Dive couldn't provide me with a specific date, but they did say that their streaming rights expired over a year ago. Similarly, MVM didn't provide a date, but they did say that the rights expired a while ago, and that they had no plans to renew it. I also reached out to Hanabi, but I haven't heard back at the time of recording. As far as I can tell, the company hasn't officially closed, but their website has been down for a while now. The good news is that it hasn't completely disappeared. You can still watch the series with subtitles on Crunchyroll, but for anyone that wants to watch the series' dub, or that just wants to pick up a copy of the Blu-ray release, you don't have many options. Fans in the West who want to learn how the story ends are also in a rough position, since the novels were never officially licensed and translated, and based on what happened to the anime adaptation, they probably never will.